Okay, so starting with our bumper turn, I'm going to start with a straight stream. Good wind conditions, we can get sort of two to 300 feet. Uh, with that combination nozzle, we can go into a big fog pattern. Um, this will give us that nice big water shield. Toronto Pearson Fire and Emergency Services has taken delivery on two more cutting edge aircraft rescue and firefighting vehicles. While you'd expect fire trucks to be a part of any airport's emergency response arsenal, these giant machines represent the next evolution in vehicles specifically tailored to the specific needs of both fighting fires and complex aircraft rescue. For example, on these trucks, a pair of nozzles, one high and one below. One of the unique things about this nozzle as well too is we can actually bring it right down to the ground if we have a wheel fire uh, to get better access for penetrating the fire. If you look up onto the roof, uh, we've got an articulating boom uh, with a nozzle on it uh, on the left hand side and that is a combination nozzle. We can utilize that for spraying foam uh, as well as, uh, as water out of it. On the left hand side uh, we've got a piercing nozzle so it basically will punch right through the, uh, the skin of the aircraft uh, which will get right in and it's basically like a sprinkler in there that'll uh, spray all the water in there to get the fire. Previously, our lines were so pressured, you'd need multiple firefighters on this line in order to man uh, manage it. Uh, whereas now we can operate at a proper, uh, proper uh, PSI for one firefighter to manage this line. We've got some cutters and spreaders. This is uh, the jaws of life. Do you want to do you want to hold it? I can hold. Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's right. heavy. We have these giant monster truck tires on here, um, which we have uh, special for off-road capabilities. Our mandates are to get to an emergency scene at the midpoint of a runway in under three minutes. The deputy chief explains these particular trucks were tendered through U.S. company Rosenbauer, funding coming from the Greater Toronto Airports Authority. So that pays for our team, it pays for all of the equipment that we have, and it pays for us to have a firefighting fleet that we have here as well too. Uh, they don't look cheap. How much does well, one of these run? Yeah, a new truck would run in the neighborhood of a $1.2 million US, and we convert that over to Canadian. We do have some specialized pieces of equipment, like high-reach extendable turrets. So a new fire truck is costing us between one and a half and $2 million Canadian. Okay, so we want to cycle up the gauges. In the cab here, we've got two different uh, joysticks. Uh, each joystick responds to our two, our two turrets. They make everything in the cab real simple for us, uh, which is fantastic, very user friendly. Okay, so I get to try it? Yep. All right. So in order to start it up, there's a green button here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There are now six of these trucks in service at Pearson, with plans to purchase a seventh in the near future. At Pearson International Airport, David Zura, City News.